Happy Monday, all you minties. This is the Uncanny Omar from Near Mint Condition, and join me today for an overview of the Black Hammer Library Editions, the ones that are currently out, and then I'll talk about future volumes. So, please stay tuned. And welcome back, everybody. Now, here we have three of the Library Editions. We have Black Hammer Library Edition Volume 1, Volume 2, and The World of Black Hammer Volume 1. There are two more World of Black Hammers coming out in Library Edition, and that will be in 2021. But we're mainly focusing on these three books. And this is going to be a little bit hard because I can't give spoilers away. So we're going to talk about the story, what it's about, without, like I said, spoilers, and then how to read these books. And I mean in which order. So let's go ahead and look at Black Hammer Library Edition Volume 1. Now, the Library Edition imprints from Dark Horse are always a little bit different. So I'm going to do a quick size comparison to other Library Editions from Dark Horse. So here it is compared to the Lady Killer Library Edition. Same size, same length, and as well as the Umbrella Academy Library Edition. However, these two don't have dust jackets, whereas Black Hammer does. And of course to the Hellboy Library Edition, and as I was saying, each one of these has different dimensions just about. Also Hellboy does not have a dust jacket, but has that cloth cover on it. But as you can tell, it's longer, not as tall as Black Hammer. And here is Harrow County, it's the exact same size, with the exception that it's not as thick as Black Hammer. But it does have a dust jacket, just like Black Hammer, and what doesn't is Fear Agent. But they are the same size. So, there you go. As a matter of fact, the Dust Jacket to Black Hammer Volume 1 feels a little bit like the Dust Jacket to Harrow County. So yes, Dust Jackets. All three of the Library Editions of Black Hammer have Dust Jackets. They all retail for $49.99, but like I mentioned, Volume 1, the feel of it is different than the feel of Black Hammer Library Volume 2 in the world of. These feel like they have a glossy finish to them, whereas this does not. It feels like, like I mentioned, almost like that soft texture to it, like Harrow County. I'm sure there's a word for that. Now, let's take a look at it under this dust jacket. It's one of these cases where you don't even need the dust jacket because it is identical in every way under the dust jacket. Let's get this open and talk a little bit about it and look at the artwork. So, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I included Black Hammer in my top 10 favorite Dark Horse books. And there's a reason for that. It's because this book is amazing. And the library editions are the way to go for the amount of content that you get. This first library edition, Volume 1, has 408 pages. So, here is the artwork by Dean Ormston. And the very first thing you'll notice is, if you're a fan of Jeff Lemire... But they have a very similar style. It's very sketchy. He uses a lot more shadows. And actually, I, if you know by now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I'm not the biggest fan of Jeff Lemire's artwork. But this actually works. It reminds me a little bit of a mix between some Tony Moore, some Mike Mignola thrown in there, and yes, even left Jeff Lemire. So this is what the art looks like. Okay, we're going to flip through a little more over here. Um, <laughs> so I guess I'll talk a little bit about the homages, because this is a huge love letter to the Silver Age of comics. So there are a lot of things in here that if you're a fan of the Silver Age comics, you'll be loving this. There's a lot of Easter eggs that pop up. We're not really going to get into it, but there are characters, like the main characters, that are based on Captain America, Captain Marvel, Shazam Captain Marvel, or DC Captain Marvel, rather, or Martian Manhunter, uh, Adam Strange, just to name a few. So that's what's really cool about this series. As far as the plot, the plot is simple. A group of superheroes have been living on a farm for the last decade. They remember their past lives being superheroes, but they don't know how they got to the farm, and some of them want to leave, some of them don't want to leave, and that's where we're stuck. And I know that sounds boring, but there's so much more to it than that. It is a character study on each of these wonderful, unique, uh, and I hate to say the word unique because they literally are homages to existing characters, but Lemire makes you forget that. And the character study comes from their loneliness, how sad they are, or just them dealing with almost PTSD. Um, and yes, there, there's the Jack Kirby Easter eggs in here, Death of Superman, even Black Hammer. I mean, that's the, the, that is the logo of Justice League. So let's look in the back here. 
and we'll talk about the other books. So here's the real secret origins of Black Hammer. They tell you how the story started, how it all began um, around the year that Essex County came out. Here's the Golden Gale and Abraham Slam. Just to name a few of the characters, Colonel Weird, that's the Adam Strange character. But yeah, if, you, if you're a fan of DC Silver Age, Marvel Silver Age, you'll get a lot of these characters. And you're like, oh, that's immediately supposed to be so-and-so. That's the witch from either the House of, not House of Mystery, but the, almost like the Tales from the Crypt or Creepy magazine. So we have unused covers, original artwork before they were colored. And then we have, oh wow, this is cool. Uh, the, these are scans of the original pages before they went to the colorist. Now, where do you go after reading volume one? Because volume one collects issues one through 13 of the original series of Black Hammer. Well, I'm going to suggest that you go and check out the world of Black Hammer. So in 2017, I wanna say, Jeff Lemire decided to expand his Black Hammer universe. And he wanted to start making little mini-series. So this one collects the Sherlock, Frankenstein, and the Legion of Evil. And then Dr. Andromeda and the Kingdom of Lost Tomorrow in this nice deluxe edition. And I'm sure one of the things you probably noticed when I was comparing all three of the books is that this particular book does not have as many pages as the first two. This one, as a matter of fact, only has 256 pages, but it still retails for $49.99. Now, I suggest reading it here because when I read the original Sherlock Frankenstein, it was in trade paperback format, and it came with issue 12, which was not collected in the first two trades of Black Hammer, but it is collected in the original library edition here. And I think it fits perfectly in between the two series. As a matter of fact, I think volume 2 fits between uh, library edition volume 1 and 2, and then volume 3 afterward but when those come out i will make sure to double check and uh, do a proper reading order and then there's the justice league black hammer story and that's collected in a deluxe edition hardcover and that can be read anytime after you've read volume one honestly because it's almost out of continuity so the first one is jeff lemire and then the artwork is not dean ormston but it is um david rubin that's who draws the very first one and the story focuses on Lucy Weber, who's a, a investigative reporter searching for the truth about what happened, how these hero heroes got there to the farm. And like I said, I'm not going to spoil anything. It could be a dream. It could be an alternate reality. It could be a future. Uh, it could be all of this is inside of somebody's uh, head. I will the least amount you know about it. Believe me, the payoffs are so much better because there's a lot of twists that happen in here. And then we have Dr. Andromeda. And Dr. Andromeda is drawn by Max, uh, what is his name? Max uh, Fumata, I believe. And this series is so awesome uh, because it's like a Golden Age superhero. It's, it's almost like Golden Age Starman is how this reads. So one thing, and this isn't much of a spoiler, it's supposed to be Starman so much so. And not just any Starman, but my Starman, my James Robinson Starman. So much so that the alter ego is Jimmy Robinson. How amazing is that? So if you love Starman, you've got to read this. This is so great. Like I said, this one doesn't have as many pages. It has 256 pages. But here is all the covers and pinups, unused artwork, sketches, character designs. So how important are these stories, these world of? Do you need to read it to enjoy the ongoing Black Hammer universe? No, you don't. Absolutely not. But I strongly suggest it because they're both wonderful. And it's not fair that spin-off series are just as good, if not better, than the ongoing series. Because holy crap, Dr. Andromeda will rip your heart out. And Sherlock Frankenstein, you get to find out so many things about the character that helps you understand him later on. Now, let's look at Volume 2. And here is Volume 2. And we are back to a thick book. This one is 400 pages. And as far as the quality, it's this thick, thick, glossy paper quality. And it fits the artwork. We're back to Dean Ormston drawing the book. And this is where I gotta be careful because I can't flip too much through here. So this collects Black Hammer Age of Doom, one through 12. Uh, Thuluis, I think it's Cthuluis, that's what it's supposed to be. And the World of Black Hammer Encyclopedia. All of that is collected in here. And this is said to where Black Hammer was supposed to end. Now, whether he comes back or not, or whether both him and Ormston come back, I don't know. Anything is possible. 
We still have two more of the World of Black Hammer Library Editions coming out in 2021, as I mentioned. And one of them collecting the Black Hammer 45, which is freaking awesome. Actually, all the miniseries are great. Um, I'm sure you probably noticed, we'll talk more about the build of the book, but each of the books come with their own little ribbon for a bookmark. You all know I love those things. And as far as the build of the books, we have sewn binding and there's the eye. The book, however, the pages, they're great, don't get me wrong, but they're so heavy towards the beginning and towards the end that they'll want to shut on you. You just have to keep opening it up. Like I showed you how to properly open up an omnibus. It's the same thing you want to do here. And once you've had your first read through, you're going to be fine. Um, all of them come with the flaps, the end, telling you a little bit about the creators, and of course, some love from other creators. Like, Patton Oswalt loves this series. We'll look at a few of the extras. Again, this one has 400 pages and wraps up the world, or I'm sorry, the story of Black Hammer. And I would love to go into detail about this, uh, maybe do an old reader, new reader on it, but until then... The least I say about it, the better off. I hope I was able to answer a lot of the questions about these library editions, what they include, what the build is like, and if you have any more, leave those in the comments down below. And that, as they say, is that. These are still available through our sponsor, CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online source for collected editions up to 50% off retail price. Cheap Graphic Novels prides itself on excellent packaging, so your stuff gets to you in excellent condition, and they have amazing customer service. Check out their bargain deals for up to 90% off cover price. And for all you mentees that are watching, if you're a first-time customer, don't forget to mention that Near Mint Condition sent you their way for a promotional credit on free shipping on your next order. Now, this is only for U.S. customers. CheapGraphicNovels.com, your source for the hottest book with deep discounts, customer service, and excellent shipping that will keep you coming back for more. And that was the page count, the content, and the build of these books. Let me know in the comments down below if you're picking the series up, if you've never read it, if you've only heard a little bit about it. I would love to know who else is reading this phenomenal series. Who else thinks this is one of the best superhero stories they've read? Leave those comments down below. Let me know if you're looking forward to the World of Black Hammer Volumes 2 and 3. And if you want Jeff Lemire and Dean Ormston to come back and revisit this world sometime. This was the Uncanny Omar. Please don't forget to hit that like, subscribe button, ring that bell for notifications to let you know when our videos are going live. We can be found on Redbubble and Patreon. Amazing ways to support the channel if you can do so. More importantly, please everybody stay healthy, stay safe out there, and much love to all of you.